Greetings, everybody, and welcome to yet another update video here on the Media Files. Uh, it's thick and hot outside. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, uh, so yeah, uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, um, I went to a yard sale, a couple of yard sales yesterday, and uh, lo and behold, I found a few things, and my wife actually surprised me with a couple of PS4 games. So, yep, a bunch of uh, pretty good movie-related stuff and so with that uh let's find out what i got up next are the media files all right well welcome back so um yeah so what can i say um who doesn't love going to a few yard sales you know what you know what i mean basically as the old saying goes um you know one man's junk is another man's treasure that's right so, uh, what do we get this time? Well, uh, first of all, uh, actually, let's start off with uh, what I found. Uh, just kind of browsing around in a couple. Uh, at, basically, it was just one yard one yard sale area that we went to, just a small community sale. Came across a couple movies and a book. Uh, so, first off, we have um, they're both kind of like family movies, but um, you know what can I say? I've seen one. Uh, well, the, one of them, one of them that I have seen, I absolutely loved when I was a kid, and thank God I finally have this edition. The other one, I know of it, um, because it's kind of related a little ways, but not really. Uh, so first of all, what I, what do I mean by related? Well, um, let's just say that it's basically, I'll just use this as an example, it's related from the realm of Star Trek. No, not Deep Space Nine, but it is Star Trek related because the director is none other than uh, Captain Riker, or Commander Riker himself. We have his film of Clock Stoppers. Yeah, directed by Jonathan Franks. Um, what can I say? Uh, you know, he's actually a really, really good director. You know, I really like his, his style. Um, obviously, you know, he's made the best, you know, Star Trek, you know, movie that was out of the uh, next generation ones with first contact but he also directed uh the feature length film of the thunderbirds and as well as this and he's also gone on to direct uh i think a few episodes of picard and uh you know the probably the coolest thing about him is that he actually uh stopped going into uh making tv shows and film for a while and he actually became a film professor yeah, I'm like, that's kind of cool. Um, I'll actually share a link uh, down in the description with that video. It's really interesting, uh, about a five-minute, you know, new segment regarding it. And it's actually kind of cool, you know. So, yeah, Clock Stoppers. Uh, sounds like an interesting movie uh, produced by Mrs. My former Mrs. James Cameron, uh, Gail Ann Hurd. And... Uh, Oh, actually, that's kind of funny. Uh, Michael Bean's actually in this movie. So I'm like, sweet, I'll have to check it out. So, yeah, what can I say? It's a fun little family film, so, you know, why not? So speaking of uh, family movies, this movie came out when I was a kid, and I've loved it ever since. Of course, you know, I used to have the big, huge 18-inch action figure of Michael Jordan when I was a kid, uh, like many kids. Uh, we all fell in love with this movie. And what can I say? It's an awesome flick. The sequel is meh. That's just my opinion. But we have the two-disc edition of Space Jam. Yeah, with the shiny chrome cover. The two-disc special edition, which is loaded with, uh, you know, with uh, extras. Not really so much extras, per se, but you have an awesome documentary in there. But not only that, though, you have uh, literally an hour of DVD classic Looney Tunes episodes. That right there is basically the price of admission. I mean, you know, you've got, you know, not only do you have a really good movie, you know, first, you know, one of the very few movies to actually incorporate, um, you know, live action footage with animation, which basically really hadn't been done I think uh, since, uh, I think since uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, so. Yeah, so up next, uh, I actually found one book this time. Yep, what can I say, call it a coincidence, but, uh, you know, I had to grab it because it was the only one that was there, 
And I figured somebody was going to be eyeballing this thing. I'm like, right, why not go ahead and grab it? Uh, what can I say? 50 cents. You know, talked, talked him down. I got a really cool book based on a famous archaeologist. Because his fifth movie, his fifth and final movie comes out at the end of this month. I got Indiana Jones and the Peril at Delphi. Yeah, so I'm like, cool, an Indiana Jones novel that I've never heard of. Apparently, there actually is um, a whole bunch of them. Hmm. Guess I'll have to track them down and try to get them. So, now, as far as the surprises go. Well, first and foremost, before I get to the games that my uh, wife surprised me, uh, my nephew actually surprised me with this pretty cool little uh, thing, which is up here. Uh, he surprised me with a little box of figurines, which I, I'm like, oh, okay. He asked me if I had ever heard of this cartoon. I'm like, yeah, I've heard of it. He surprised me with this pretty cool little um, figurine set uh, from Masters of the Universe. Yeah, I'm like, that's pretty cool. So if that it features uh, He-Man, Man of Arms, um, uh, Orko, as well as Skeletor, and... Merman. So, yeah, I'll have to give that show a watch. I actually haven't really watched a whole lot of He-Man, but I know of He-Man. So, uh, so finally, uh, my wife actually surprised me with three PS4 games. Yeah, she only paid about two bucks a piece, so I'm like, that's not bad at all. So, first up, uh, we have basically, well, in the collection we have only one have this Call of Duty. So, it's another one in the franchise. We have none other than Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Yeah. So, you know, what can I say? Uh, you know, pretty cool, you know, for, you know, only two bucks. Yeah, the case is a little bit cracked there, but you know what? I can always just replace the case. All I care about is that is the disc scratched or is it destroyed or damaged? And it's not. Thank God, because it's Blu-ray and you can easily clean it. So up next, uh, for two bucks, she surprised me with this game. I've got the, f the second one, but I did not have the first one. And of course, I'm of course talking about the one that's basically that really is more of like just a multiplayer game, but they listened and they created a storyline for the second one. But you can still have fun with it. Regardless, we have the first Star Wars Battlefront, yeah, the Deluxe Edition, which features the Battle of Jakku DLC access, which is awesome, by the way. Uh, even though it says that the its access is included, there's probably a little code in there. No code, but that's all right. I really don't care, because it's Star Wars. I'll still play it. <laughs> and finally, uh, she kind of surprised me with this game. Um, I've heard of it, but I... Um, I've never played it. I know it's kind of similar to Skylanders as far as that type of thing goes. Uh, but we have, um, for Sheila paid two bucks for this, by the way. Uh, we have Lego Dimensions. Yeah. So what can I say? That's actually some pretty cool finds there for two bucks a piece. So, you know, hey, why not? So, yeah, that basically completes this real small update here uh, on the media files. Uh, if you kind of notice the background changed a little bit, let me step to the side here for just a second. Huh. Should we, uh, take a peek down here? Uh, yeah. Looks like, uh, looks like a gaming shelf. Yeah. Look at that. Kind of, yeah. That's right. I did some up changes. I changed. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm getting all tongue tied here. Man. Uh, I changed some things around. I decided to basically make this uh, shelf here my gaming shelf. Minus a few DVDs that are up here. Um, you know, I want to do a talk about this set sometime soon. Maybe that'll be in the next upcoming video or some of these along here. All these here are my DS and 3DS games. Um, uh, now, the reason why some of these are kind of blank that there's nothing there uh, it's because I have them uh, basically set like that for a reason because the other two games need to go there and a few other vice versa. Uh, so yeah, that basically completes the new background sneak peek. Um, so yeah, what can I say? Uh, you know, 
we got loads of videos to get sit through and whatnot. And what can I say? Uh, there's going to be a lot more stuff coming in the works, you know, just whenever I get time. So I figured, hey, why not uh, do a lot of videos this weekend and get them uploaded for you guys? Um, you know, I'd like to thank everybody who's been subscribing to the channel. Um, I apologize the fact that I know, given the fact if you want to get more videos on there, a lot of people tend to upload videos about two to three a day. Um, that just doesn't really quite work in my current schedule. Basically, whenever I can get time to do it, like as far as weekends go, then that's when I upload a bunch of stuff. That's why usually you see about two to three to maybe five videos at a time. So there you go. More content for your weekend. How about that? So yeah, with that, uh, I will leave it there. And uh, maybe I'll do some PS2 game reviews or some just gaming reviews in general. Uh, yeah, so with that, uh, I'll see you in the next update or review or whatever it will be. Remember to hit uh, that, subs that notification bell. Please like and subscribe. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.